Thank you, Kevin. And today for seniors, do you often feel your voice is not being heard in Washington? The national president-elect of AARP was in Oklahoma today. In fact, he made a point of having a conversation about strengthening health and retiring and retirement security in Washington, Oklahoma, instead of inside the Beltway of Washington, D.C. Happy to have Rob Ramosco here in studio with us. First of all, you have to tell me how Washington, Oklahoma was. It was great. The sun was out, and so were 55 seniors. It was a terrific visit. And what reception did you get from them? What are their concerns? Well, very, very much so, like all Americans, they're concerned about Social Security and Medicare. It's important to them, but over half of the people we've surveyed are worried that it won't be there for them. And more importantly, they're worried it won't be there for their children. And truthfully, a lot of seniors don't even feel like they have a voice anymore. That is correct. When we've seen lots of talk in Washington, lots of work behind closed doors. ARP is trying to bring that conversation out into the sunlight, bring the information to people, and ask people what they think, particularly people who are going to be affected by it, how they think Social Security and Medicare should be strengthened for them and their, and their children. So we're going to bring that conversation to them, have the voices heard, and bring those opinions back to the policymakers in D.C. Folks like you are in the seat, though, because you can gather all this information and you know what's going on. Do you think it's going to be there for us and for our kids? Well, the facts are Social Security, if we do nothing, will pay full benefits till 2037. If nothing's changed, we go to 75 percent. We don't think that's acceptable, but obviously we, we need to engage everybody in that conversation, hear the proposals that people are making, present the pros and cons, get their opinions, and make those voices heard. And how how do you make your voice heard anymore as, as, as people age and get older? It's more difficult for them to attend meetings, more difficult sometimes even to, to get to their representatives. Well, we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to go out as we have been. We started yesterday in Columbus. It's a nationwide uh, effort. We're going to reach out to as many members as we can through every available opportunity. The bulletin, uh, our website, earn to say Dot org, our 800 number, and we're going to have tele, tele town halls and go into the community and invite people to fill out the survey, call in, or uh, use the website and voice their opinions. We're going to package that up, bring those opinions uh, uh, to the Congress people, the candidates, and challenge them to uh, listen to the American people. Our older citizens can choose the next president if they get out and vote. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We appreciate you being here. For more information on AARP's efforts to have your voice heard in Washington, we have a link to the current campaign at kfor.com slash links. Also, if you don't have a computer, we've put a telephone number there. You can call 1-866-295-7277. You can talk to a person and get your, your feelings known. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having Welcome us. Welcome to Oklahoma.